what are you doing? Sasseru Monoka! I won't lose! I cannot afford to lose! The day. Uh. Mark! Are you fully voiced in English? Mine! You are. You're imitating the godman. It's weird. This is it! <gasps> he just did it again! The day is mine! Keep your eyes open! I live to fight again! Let's dance! Elite Smash! Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another Road to Elite Smash, and last time we got in Duck Hunt, the little dog that could, along with his friend the duck, managed to clutch out a really close Elite Smash last time, and now we're moving on to just another big series again, with the Fire Emblem series of characters. There are a lot of Fire Emblem characters to cover, as we've done so far, we've done Krom, we've done Ike, and we've done Roy. And both of them have been, all three of them have actually been relatively easy, so today we're going to be doing Marth. And Marth is really the first Fire Emblem character that started it all, and he's a very generic sword character, and I will be covering him a little bit today. Let's go for this black alt, love the black alt on Marth as always, so let's go in and probably some break some shields and break some hearts. Alright, looks like we have Samus up first, and we all know what happened Three, the last time that Samus tried to fight us on one, Elite Smash. It go. didn't end very well, and hopefully this will be the same thing. And so far, I'm going to talk about Mark's moveset. So yeah, that's his side B, his dancing blade. You can hit him up to a lot of times, actually, and can be angled in three different directions. Uh, forward, up, and down. And both have different instances of being hit. Uh, I should have looked that up smash, but it's alright. Samus up smash, not exactly reliable, but that F smash stuck a little bit. Ooh, that was a nice move there with the, the tether re-grab. But I think he's trying to go for that a lot, so we're going to have to punch him for it. Nice dash deck. You can see right now, a lot of monsters aren't doing too much damage, but we'll be able to do that in just a minute. Already down two stocks, so got to be careful on our last stock. But he's at 125. Hopefully we can kill him very soon and make a very good comeback, like we did against the Samus last time and definitely smash. All right. Nice, and that's his upbeat, his dolphin slash. Really good at stage spiking anyone who tries to edge guard him. But yeah, his big selling point is his tipper on his sword. If you hear that sound effect twice with that move will be his shield breaker. If you go to a shield, well, you'll see what happens if I manage to get that this run. But yes, his tipper, very, very deadly. You gotta be really precise with how you land it. And there we go, that was a nice F smash. He should be dead there, he is. And yeah, Tipper really essential to Mark's toolkit as gonna be what makes him do a lot more damage. So let's move on to the next round. Alright, looks like we have Palutena up next, and that's a bit of a rough one. Luckily, I think with Mark's good spacing, we can do a pretty nice job at it. Alright. You gotta be careful here. Nice back throw. His throws for Mark are unfortunately not that good. Doesn't really have a kill throw. Well, up throw can kill really late, really late, but for the most part, oh, we're doing really good with those damage right now. Alright, 153 and 138. I think we'll be able to take this kill. When I grow up, I wanna go to the moon! <laughs> Why wait? Nice, good up smash. The hitbox on it is really, really weird as you can see. But normally, yeah. Unfortunately, gonna have to die there to Explosive Flame because it's Palutena, what can I say? But yeah, really would like the spacing the of this will be really fun move to use. He's right behind me, isn't he? But nice! But nice! Um, Tipper F smash right there. I'm still living at 117. Just gotta be careful of Explosive Flame and any grabs like that. That's all Paul Tanis wants. Up tilt, really good for starting combos. Same thing with dar down throw. I think it's most useful aside from his up throw. His forward throw and back throw actually is slightly useful. Still living at 161. Alright. We're also gonna have to SD, but at least we die on our own terms. Didn't really want to die to another Explosive Flame at that higher percent. Alright, nice. Still have invincibility, so the counter didn't do anything. We just gotta be careful when we do that. This will be. Alright, nice. Nice F smash there. Alright. Buffer to counter. Alright, makes it back, but nice. In case you haven't noticed, that's a human person. There we go. Another F up smash. Gotta be careful which smash deck I'm talking about. We'll talk about his down smash, but I won't be using it too much to as we move on to the next round. Alright, looks like we have Simon up next, and I think this could be a pretty easy one. I don't know, Simon does have a lot of range, so we're gonna need to see how he can his projectiles, his axe, and cross. 
so far I think we're doing all right. Nice forward throw. Just gotta be careful we hit him once, make sure he does not enrage with that whip, and then we'll be good. His recovery isn't that good uh, horizontally, so... So far we're doing all right. Nice to grab smash. I think it's going to do with the pressure him just like that. Perfect. Can't up B in time. So he did, did recover really high, but as long as we get him out of range of that whip to use this as a tether, then we'll be fine. You can make a little bit of this. Yeah. <laughs> it can hit like that, but uh, it missed four in a row. So nice tip or so. Ooh, all right. And look at that. We're already off by two stocks. A little bit interesting to see how we got there, but... Take another forward throw. We'll be fine. Oh yeah. Unfortunately, that's the main giving is who can outrage the other first as both recovery's not really good horizontally. Ours is a little bit better and Simon of course has that tether as you can see. Uh, He's right behind me, isn't he? Another missed X map. Gotta be careful. It does hit on the top, but it's very finicky on how that works. So just have to be careful. He's at 103, so I think another good hit there should be it. Nice left tilt. All right, good dash attack, and we can do that again. Nice, and he's automatically dead. Just can't get in range of that uh, whip, and already three successful victories and wins to fight again. All right, looks like for our final match, we have Marth. It's going to be the Ditto. And we're going to see how the other Marth plays, but I think we're going to outplay him very much. As so far, we're just landing with aerials. Nothing too fancy. All right, he's trying to get a bunch of up tilts, and he's actually doing it. Only like three tippers so far, so doing fine. Looks like he used down smash. It's an all right. It's pretty fast. He uses it. Marth! What are you doing, crack? What the fuck? <laughs> and oh, you can't stay just like us like that. Turn him around. Ar ar With the back ear, that's something that Mark's uh, back ear can do. Just turns him around, just like you saw with Krom and Krom Elite Smash. And once I get to Lucina, Lucina's Elite Smash, and boy, we already did with Roy. A nice up throw. Unfortunately, that wasn't us though. So yeah, 180. That's where, where it kills. All right. So yeah, not really doing too much. Nice tipper there. Really wanted the shield against us so we get a nice shield break. And that's his counter. Pretty standard counter. Nothing too good, nothing too bad. So it's pretty standard. All right, and close another tipper. Boom, almost got him there. So it angled it up, as you can see. It angles him up and gets a nice tipper F smash. Only one stock left for Danielson. All right, nice. Already good. Normally getting him around two up tilts, so let's turn ourselves around. All right, I think we can make it back. And yes, he did. The down here actually saving us with a sour spot. 186. Yeah. All right. He dies to another up throw, so that means Daniel Sutt is not going to be able to get too much damage on us, and he's resorting to both up throw kills. Well, he's actually gotten better kills as he's at 68 with another down smash. So we've got to be careful. 90 to 109. I think we can still have a good chance at this. The goal for. In case you haven't noticed, I live to fight again. Nice! And finisher move with that tipper neutral beat. Didn't break his shield, but definitely broke any chance he had at winning and gave up a chance in a road to the lead smash. Well, quite an interesting run to see the least. Uh, Mark's tipper really came in handy there. If you don't get the tipper on Mark's uh, smash attacks or any of his attacks, really, it's going to be really hard to get kills with him, as you saw, but, you know, for the most part, if you do get a tipper, it is most likely game over for whoever you're up against. Um, I kind of enjoyed playing Marth. I think his tipper was really fun. If it kills really early, that's always a plus for me, but I don't really like how inconsistent it is. It almost feels like I have to miss my attacks in order to space the tipper effectively, but, hey, if you get a nice neutral B tipper, it's just really satisfying to land. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below and tip for that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, peace out and make it a great day, everyone.